airlines are in a hiring frenzy. CEOs are looking ahead to a dramatic increase in passengers this summer and trying to prepare. Pent-up travel demand is off the charts and consumers are flush with cash, but the airlines will have to staff up to handle it. During the pandemic, airlines cut staff and offered early retirement packages to save cash. Now, they need employees desperately. Many airlines still have shell shock from the Omicron wave that infected so many employees that it devastated their operations and forced thousands of cancellations. They have no desire to repeat that disaster. So they're only ramping up capacity based on their ability to hire. And competition for employees is fierce. In Chicago, United Airlines is offering a $10,000 signing bonus to new part-time ramp agents, baggage handlers, and other jobs. Southwest raised pay to $18 an hour to try and attract workers. United is offering the signing bonus in Chicago, DC, San Francisco, Denver, and other markets. A United Union representative said he couldn't pinpoint the reason for the worker shortage and just stated the airline is having a hard time getting people to come to work. Airlines and other employers are competing with Amazon, Target, and other employers now offering $15 an hour along with flexible hours and full benefits. On Southwest's recent earnings call, new CEO Bob Jordan said hiring is his top priority and the number one obstacle to ramping up capacity. Southwest is looking to hire 8,000 employees this year, and American says they plan to hire 18,000 employees. American is also struggling with a pilot shortage and has begun hiring from regional airlines to address that gap. But that's just pushing the pilot problem down the ladder to the regional airlines, who are really struggling. Travel will be back this summer, but it may take a little longer for the airlines to fully return.